We're in Oslo, it's me, Slick Shooter. I'm doing the noisy Pepsi Max 48 hour mixtape. Really stressing out, it's only 48 hours, I need to make six or eight tracks, and that's uh, quite heavy. This week is Oya Festival. The whole city is kind of like really excited. I really want to capture the energy of the city in this mixtape. If there's any 48 hours, I would choose to do a mixtape like this. This is it. We're at the Vigalance Park. There's some really, really cool acoustics here, some echo and stuff, and I'm gonna try and capture that and get it on tape. You never know when using a field recorder what the recording is gonna sound like, but the good thing is you might pick up sounds that you never thought of. I mean, everything can be a percussive element or something like that in a track that can like elevate it to the next level. If I can do that in this mixtape, I'll be well happy. We're back at my studio now. The clock is ticking. I'm getting anxious. I'm waiting for Drippin' to come around. Also Purple Purple. Uh, we need to lay down some vocals. We need to do some beats. We need to get this thing popping. So I'm excited. Let's move. Let's move. Me and uh, Purple, we've been working on like Duke footwork tracks and I think we're gonna be doing the same thing on this mixtape. She'll be jamming on the microphone, do some ad-libs and we'll see what works. Yes! That's good! Oh. <laughs> Me and Drippin, we've known each other for years. We've been DJing together. We have sort of like a natural vibe going. I don't have a lot of time, so we need to get moving. This could be like an intro. So we... uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Me and Drippin, basically trying to combine my highly energetic sound with his melodies and soundscapes. I think that people that have heard my stuff before and Drippin' stuff before can hear that it's both of us in there and I'm really, really happy with that. Boom! I think like we have like a skeleton of a track and you yeah. have to like stay up all night to finish this. I think I'm gonna hit the club. Cool, man. Yeah, I might see you later tonight. Hopefully, hopefully me. I don't know though. Sick. Right, so I'm gonna head to the club to test these demo tracks with Drippin. In Oslo right now, there's a lot of good stuff happening, no matter what you're into. With all that music being played, I think people get inspired to do their own spin on it and make something new out of that. So for me, that's really exciting. Right, it's a new day. I'm really tired. Last night, me and Drippin played our demo in the club. We did like a back-to-back. -back. Sounded really good, but I had to go back to the studio and do some tweaks. We're here with Samsaya now at her studio. She has a lovely energy. I think she can bring something really, really cool to this project. So let's see what we can do. Samsaya! Good to see you. Nice to see you too. Oh my days. Are you ready to do this thing? I'm so ready. Samsaya has this harmonium given to her by her guru, so hopefully we can try and capture some like spiritual vibes. What is that? It's a screw that's loose and it oh sounds amazing! <laughs> Let me tell you, let me tell you right now. Samsara is able to switch her vocal style up, something I really, really like. She can do like a straightforward pop song, but she can also do some rapping as well. And I want to try and do that in our track. Nice. It 
It's a banger. <laughs> So we're at Oya Festival. I'm about to meet Bosca. He's absolutely sick on the drums. Looking forward to hearing his ideas about a track. We're gonna have a chat and see what we can do. Bosca, mate. Hey, Good to see you, bro. Nice to see you. I got some idea that uh, you actually might like. Like I've been recording some live drums. Sweet. Uh, kind of up-tempo, 175 kind of impro. Kind of Sweet. loose impro thing, but we can chop that up and use that for some kind of jungly sounding thing. So what I've been recording like for live drums, you can check it out. Uh, these yeah. parts right here. Let me have a listen. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> it's like the a drum fill. The, yeah. It's like the eternal amen break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and this is gold. So I also got these one shots of all the live drums and they sound a lot better. They got like a really full rich sound compared to the, the playing. Okay, sweet. I did like a um, recording of a clap in uh, Viglandsparken. I think all right. if we can do like, um, I can layer this yeah. with like your one shot of the drums, I think it actually can sound quite sick. Okay, so, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, that's definitely something we can try and work out. This is perfect. I'm gonna use this, definitely. During the Oya Festival week, I feel like Oslo is really vibrant, lots of energy. I'm also playing the mixtape at a Oya after party, so I'm really hoping to see some of that energy in the crowd. I just got to make some final tweaks to the tracks, but time is running out. I just bounced the last track of the mixtape. I need to get it all onto this one, then I need to go to the club do a DJ set, see how it goes down. That's it, bouncing. Sick. So, we're nearly at the 48 hour of my mixtape. I'm really excited, I got my mixtape on this USB stick, I'm gonna try it out at the club. Let's see how it goes, wish me luck. You never know with festival crowds how they're gonna be like. I mean, they've been at the festival a couple of days now. They want to see and hear some new stuff. Hopefully I can hit them with that. This mixtape has definitely been a journey. We've been moving forward really quickly, jumping in and out of studios everywhere. I think this whole experience definitely has improved me as a producer. It's a great project to be part of. That's right.